I would like now to introduce your speaker for today, Peter Goldman. Peter Goldman is president of Fraud Aware LLC, the publisher of White Collar Crime Fighter, a widely read monthly newsletter for internal auditors, controllers, corporate counsel financial operations managers, and fraud investigators. The newsletter is in its 15th year of publication under Peter's leadership. Peter is the author of Fraud in the Markets, Why It Happens and How to Fight It, published by John Wiley and Sons, as well as four other anti-fraud books. Peter also developed Fraud Aware, the leading fraud awareness training program, a user-friendly learning tool. Fraud Aware uses seminar, webinar, and e-learning formats to train employees and managers at all levels in how to detect, prevent, and report incidents of fraud or suspicious conduct. Peter, welcome to the program. We are now ready to begin. Thank you very much, Michael, and welcome everyone to today's presentation on detecting and preventing employee fraud. I'm uh, glad you joined us. Uh, very quickly, the the outline for the presentation will be, I'll start with off with some uh, perspective in the form of statistics. There are plenty of statistics around regarding fraud, and uh, they are often very useful in terms of gaining an understanding of the, <clears throat> the magnitude of the problem. So we'll, sh we'll, sh we'll go through a few of those, and then we'll jump into the, um, some, of the, some of the more common uh, forms of employee fraud that are threatening organizations today. We'll, uh, throughout, the organization, uh, throughout the presentation, also share some real-life uh, case studies to uh, uh, make it clear that this is not just theoretical stuff that I'm sharing with you, but it's real-life um, issues that uh, we need to be aware of and uh, to take action against. And then um, we'll uh, turn our attention to uh, the red flags of employee fraud, which are, as you'll know, as you'll learn shortly, the key to efficient and timely detection of illegal activity on the part of employees. And we'll wrap up uh, with a uh, presentation of best practices in um, fraud prevention, keeping in mind that there is no one-size-fits-all uh, formula for prevention, but the good news is that there are some very uh, useful, proven best practices that can be adapted to your unique um, organization. So with that, uh, we're going to look at, as I said, some statistics, uh, most of which um, come from, uh, with the exception of the last one, the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. Now, the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners which I'll refer from now on uh, to as the ACFE, is pretty much the go-to uh, professional organization for people who are in any way directly or indirectly involved in fraud detection, prevention, uh, investigation, as well as compliance and law enforcement. 